the Kootenai characters, and speaking is President and Director Amy Smart. <laughs> to have in their hot little hand when they take. I've got extra programs from our last show, which has information about how to get in touch with us and also has our mission statement sort of thing in there. So I'm just going to put those here with you. Okay. I don't know if I brought enough for how many people are here. This is good turnout. This is exciting. So um, as Miranda said, I'm Amy Smart with the Kootenai characters and our last production, you may have seen a poster around for the history of dating, it was pretty fun. And that was the play that we put on in conjunction with our Heritage Festival this year. Raise your hand if you came to the play. All right, I don't have treats, sorry. But thank you for coming. Um, so, let me tell you a little bit about us. We are, uh, the Kootenai characters are a troop of local folks with, I wrote that we didn't have a theater degree amongst us, but as it turns out, Cindy Filler does have some type of theater degree, so I was wrong. But anyway, um, we all feel called to participate in the performing arts and also to contribute to our community. So, um, we learn and grow together every year to put on a play and have for quite a few fall seasons now in which I've been the director and sometimes been up on the stage too. Um, and that go is in conjunction with the Nordic Fest or Heritage Festival. And um, this year it got to be in conjunction with Harvest Fest and um, Chainsaw as well. So that was pretty cool. And we had a great turnout. We estimated that 292 people came and saw our show. And we came out ahead and I want you to know that um, besides being hams, we also want to support our community and other aspiring hams. So that's why proceeds from our shows go back into performing arts opportunities for our local youth. Specifically, we are continuing to hone our mission as Kootenai Characters Board with the goal of being a booster club for the Libby School's speech and drama, choir, and band programs. And actually, I lied to you just now, our most recent event that we entertained for was not the history of dating, but the St. John's, no, formerly St. John's Lutheran Hospital Auxiliary, now Cabinet Peaks Medical Center Auxiliary, and um, do you, raise your hand if you came to that event. Uh, oh, good job, Steve. <coughs> All right. <laughs> well, it was really cool. Did, did uh, Kate mention anything about what the auxiliary does for the... No. Oh, full... I ran out of time. No, okay. Okay. Oh, I'm on a timer. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> the auxiliary for the hospital, our medical center, helps to provide equipment for the hospital that the hospital isn't going to be able to put the bill for. So, they run the gift shop and they do things throughout the year to raise money to buy things like 3D mammography machine stuff and um, a Billy Rubin blankets to help newborn babies. So they're kind of like the Kootenai characters of the hospital, whereas we are the auxiliary for the high school performing arts. Does that make sense? Okay, good, because I, I, it did in my head, but I'm not sure how it came out. <laughs> so, um, the leaders of those programs, the Libby School's Speech and Drama Choir and Band programs, have been invited to request funds via email from us um, when they see a need that they might have. For example, last year we provided matching sweatshirts. We didn't order them or anything. We gave them money to get their matching sweatshirts for speech and drama. So when they show up for a meet and Whitefish is all dressed in suits and ties, they've at least got matching sweatshirts. 
Um, and we're currently saving up some money, hopefully, to help with a longer term project. And we're working with the Libby schools. I actually haven't set up the meeting yet, so don't tell them. No. <laughs> But we would like to, at some point, help replace the risers and band shells that they've been using since I was in school, which was a long time ago, Miranda. So, and um, they're also a little bit on the um, bulky side. So we're, we would like to maybe help them replace that. It's kind of one of the things on our list. So, Hi. Good. Huh? Time's, Time's up. up. Time's up. All right. Hey, we got a new play coming out, Wizard of Oz, in March. Any questions? Do you just have a Facebook page or anything like that that people can look we, schedule? We don't have a Facebook page. We yeah. could. We should set one up. Huh? Something people yeah. can yeah. look at your schedule. Yeah. Your events are all on the chamber. Oh, our events are on the Chamber website, Byron. <laughs> Thank you. Yes? How many, how many people do you estimate came to the Music Man last year that you did? Because that was, was that your largest? That was our largest. That's what we did. Thank you. Thank you, Mandy. Um, music Man was our largest musical production to this date, and we estimated that Seven to eight hundred people came and saw that show. It was a pretty big deal. It was pretty cool. So we hope we'll get the same kind of support for the Wizard of Oz this year. Did anybody see Granny Smith Goes to Washington? No? That was the year before at Nordic Fest. All right. Oh, Nonsense. Remember Nonsense? Super fun. Okay. Any other questions? Thanks for your time. Thanks so much, Chamber, for putting this on. And it's so nice to get to know what everybody's doing in town.